10 random cards rated day 24 again because I did in fact skip a day I had a couple of people telling me in the comments section the last few days like you kind of skipped a day there homie and I was like no and then I look back and I I did so this is I know yesterday was 24 today is also day 24 so don't be confused also they're working on my roof so if you hear some like bang 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 that's probably that's because of the roof and not the person that I have chained up in the basement it's the Sometimes it might be the person I have chained up in the basement. Mostly it's going to be the roof, though. So let's... First card of the day, everybody. Let's take a look at it. It's Karamonix, the Rat King. Currently in standard. You can have him for 30 cents. He's three mana, one and two black for a 3-3 legendary Phyrexian rat with Toxic 1. Other rats you control also have Toxic 1. When Karamonix enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. Reveal any number of rats. Put them in your hand. The rest go on the bottom of your library. Rando orders. This is a cool card, man. Hasn't seen a whole lot of play in standard up to now. If Rats is a deck because of Bloomborough, you know, I'm, I just played against somebody the other night that had this in their deck. It was weird. It was a weird deck. It was like blue, black rats with season of loss, the black season from Bloomborough. And they, I think we're trying to fill their graveyard and use the mode that lets you just like deal damage equal to the number of dudes in your yard to each player or each opponent. Um, that deck was fun looking and, and different. I like that about it, but I'm not sure how great it is. I don't know how great rats actually are. So kind of hard to full throatedly like endorse this dude, <laughs> at least for standard. But, you know, he's a pretty good commander if you're playing rats. He's a pretty good part of the 99 too. But I imagine this is like your rat commander. But maybe you want to play more than one color. So he's not, <laughs> you know. But either way, cool guy. You know, they threw Toxic 1 on him. All your rats have Toxic 1, which is actually a pretty sweet line of text. So I'm going to give the guy like a 5.76. Somewhere in there, if that's okay. Good good one to start the day, I think. You know, I like Karamonix, dude. Number two is Experimental Synthesizer. Another, uh, well, I was going to say another standard card, not anymore. I'm going to miss you, man. Experimental Synthesizer is a single red mana for an artifact. It ETBs or leaves the battlefield. You get to exile the top of your library till end of turn. You can play the card. For three mana, you can sack it and create a 2 2 white samurai dude with vigilance activate only as a scorcery. So, this is only 25 cents right now, and that's not bad for a pretty good egg. One of the better eggs of all time. It's even shaped like an egg, and I thought it was kind of funny when I first saw the card, and I still think it's funny now. Sweet thing, man. Like, most artifact decks want this, you know, if they have the slot for it, and it's pretty easy to find the slot for it. It basically pays itself back. It's one mana for a card, and very often it's one mana for two cards. And that's just really good, man. I'm going to give Synthesizer a 6.3. 6.6? No, it's not that high. Let's go with 6.26 because that still rounds up to 6.3. I like it. This is a good magic card. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> this, is, this is a pretty good magic card, but we'll move on. Ooh, Carplus and Forest. Can we see Ice Age? Look how beautiful that is, guys. I love the Ice Age Forest. Carplus and Forest. I like Ice Age Forest, too. Most of those look good. Um, but this, man, Carplus and Forest is a great magic card. Just a land, you can tap it for a colorless. But you can also tap it for a red or a green. But if you do either one of those things, it's going to deal a damage to you big freaking whoop. It's just not, not that big of a deal, man. Like, by the time you produce two mana of, you know, either red or green off of this, then that's like playing a shock land. It's not that bad in context. You know, it's like a city of brass for whatever colors you're playing. Just always, always going to be good. I have to give pain lands in general. I want to rate all of these differently because I think like Underground Sea or Underground River, rather. Uh, Underground River and like Out of Car Wastes. Like some of these have seen more play than others. But I think you just have to give pain lands like an 8.3, you know, or like an 8.5 even. Like they're, these are honestly some of the better lands ever printed all the way up to this day, man. Untapped lands that produce two different colors of mana. It's crazy. That's <laughs> these are the first duels that weren't duels um, that I can remember. I might be wrong about that. I know we had special lands in, you know, legends. And we had special lands in Arabian Nights. We had desert, no oasis. Um, we had special lands in fallen empires, right? The uh, storage counter lands. But as far as I can remember, these are, these were duels after duels, like the first duels after duels. And they're, they're really an important part of magic. We'll move on to, oh, Etherling, man. Man, man, man. I miss you, too. Six mana. You would think I would not miss this card, but sometimes even a guy who complains about control decks can be a dirty control mage. I definitely was <laughs> during, you know, 
this Ravnica um, block. This is six mana, four and two blue for a four or five shapeshifter. You can pay a blue to exile it, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. You can also pay a blue to have it go unblocked this turn. You can also pay a colorless to, or any mana really to have it get plus one, minus one till end of turn and also any mana of any color. We'll give it minus one, plus one until end of turn. So this was a control finisher for a while um, in blue-white control like during its time. It's obviously a take on Morphling, which is the much more famous creature, but I'm actually not sure Morphling was the better creature <laughs> in hindsight. Morphling's really good, and it's got you know quite the pedigree at this point, but... Um, Etherling, honestly, uh, in its control decks, it cost a mana more, but in its control decks, it felt like a, a just as good of a finisher, right? I mean, this is a very annoying card once it's on the table, and it effectively costs seven mana to cast. Um, but Morphling effectively costs six mana to cast, so it's, again, it's about the same, you know. Um, Etherling was the finisher in, like, the Sphinx's Revelation version of Blue Eye Control, so it's really good. It's really, it's a very good magic card uh, for its day, but I'm not sure that it still is in any format at the moment. But that said, you know, just in a vacuum, I'm going to give the card like a 6.66. It is a devil of a card. So 6.66, mostly for the memories and how good it was in its particular standard. Moving on, though, to Squirrel Squatters. This is an uncard. We don't do uncards, but I do like the art. Next is Command Tower. What do you give Command Tower, dude? We mostly talk about um, casual commander, right? That's mostly what we're here to judge, is cash commander. So I have to give the card like a 10. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's really not a lot of better cards. Judging the art, is this a Doctor Who? Yeah, you can see the TARDIS and the uh, expansion symbol. Um, art's fine. Probably lower tier in terms of <laughs> command tower. I do like the idea behind this art, though, right? Because usually command tower is like a big tower. But in this case, it's like a control room of some kind. That's genius. So good idea, I guess. And Hector Ortiz, your art looks good. But as far as the choices for command tower, I wouldn't particularly choose this one. But if I'm being serious about the ranking here, like 9.9, .9, you know what I mean? Like what gets a 10? Ancestral Recall, you know what I mean? So 9, 9.89 or something like that. Command tower is... It's good, good magic card, obviously. Oh, another Doctor Who thing. The Seventh Doctor. This is, is there like a normal version of this card? Barely. All right. So the Seventh Doctor is five mana, three, a white and a blue for a three, six legendary Time Lord Doctor. Whenever the Seventh Doctor attacks, choose a card in your hand. Depending player guesses whether, God, guesses whether that card's mana value is greater than the number of artifacts you control. If they guessed wrong, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. If you don't cast a spell this way, investigate. So you'll always investigate whenever he attacks. He's a five minute three six with no keyword abilities. Has an attacks trigger, a guessing game, which I, I hate. I like having fun, right? But for some reason, like coin flips, die rolls, guessing games, they all, they send me. I don't like them. But if you like them, that's fine. <laughs> it's completely fine. So they guess whether the card's mana value is greater than or less than. They just guess whether it's greater than the number of artifacts you control. So you can, it's a 50-50 one way or the other. You can be a little sly, but eh. This, I don't, I mean, I don't know. It's an interesting like build around. I'll say that much. Like you, you definitely build your deck a little differently when you play this card. And I like that about like any commander that I see. Allows you to play with two good colors for artifacts too. So I don't know. I don't want to judge it too harshly, but. Like, just because I wouldn't play with it doesn't mean that somebody else wouldn't play with it. You know what I mean? That's, that's what magic's all about. It's different strokes for different folks. We all meet together, right? So, I don't know. If somebody else sat, like, if, if I was playing against Prof or something, and he sat down across the table uh, with this guy, I'd be like, ooh, okay, I get to see how this guy works. Like, how do you build a, guy, a deck around this guy? So, I'd be interested. I don't hate him or anything. So, I'll give him, a, like, a 5.9. You know what I mean? Not great, but mm, interesting. You have to wait, like, functionally, you have to wait to attack with him. He costs five mana, so he's actually not that good of a commander. But he's cool. I like cool magic cards. Orzov Advocus. This is a good card, if I'm not mistaken. Three mana, two, and a white for a 1-4 human advisor. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature they control. If a player does, creatures that player controls can't attack you or planeswalkers you control until your next turn. What was that, dude? They're just, like, dropping boulders on my roof. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, they seem to be scrambling too. I hope there's 
Not a giant hole in my roof. That'd be. I guess home insurance is we have it for a reason. Um, but anyway, this is not the card I thought it was, but it's still pretty cool, you know, like group huggish, or like turbo fog adjacent kind of decks. Each player may put two. If a player does, players the beginning of your upkeep. So, card has to be in play for an entire turn. There is that. Card's also really, 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 really cheap. So I don't know how many people are actually playing with it. This is a very unique effect, though. Like, an incredibly unique effect. And I imagine most people, like, you know, the odds are going to want to attack you that turn are 33%. You know what I mean? So most of the time they weren't going to attack you anyway, um, which isn't great. They're just, like, growing their dudes for when they eventually do attack you. So I don't know, man. I do like it, though. I think it's – I like unique designs. Just period. I like unique designs. So I'm going to give the card um, uh, 4.9. And like maybe I'm super wrong. You know, and I just could, it could be like even worse than that somehow. Or it could be way better. But I don't know. I'm just not quite feeling it. Move on to Jetpack Janitor and Uncard. A lot of those today. Let's move on to Vivis section from Mirrored and Besieged. Four mana, three and a blue for a sorcery as additional cost to cast it. Sack a creature, draw three cards. So you might want to sack a creature, but four mana, draw three at sorcery speed actually isn't very good. Um, I could see this probably seeing play at some point, but like in Commander, when Commander was different <laughs> 10 years ago when Commander was not what it is now so this is the worst card of the day so far i think i'm gonna give this a 2.9 um there could be some use for this it could be some but you probably just play a better even if your deck wants a sack creature you probably just play a better card draw spell you know uh gruesome realization is the last card of the day this is from the brothers war uh currently playable in standard i covered this entire set for previous season i don't remember this card this is three mana two two black and a colorless for sorcery, choose one. You draw two cards, you lose two life. Or creatures your opponent's control get minus one, minus one till end of turn. That's kind of fine. I said two black and a colorless. It's two black and a whatever. <laughs> so one and two black. You want to get like real weird about it. Um, Three mana, kind of read the bones or really sign in blood. That's a sign in blood. Three mana sign in blood. Or... Everybody minus one, minus one. It's not bad. And it's, and it's creatures your opponent's control, too. So it doesn't count your guys. It's kind of good. I don't know. It's not bad. It's, it's not good either, but it's kind of it's, it's kind of all right. I'll give this like a 5.1. Yeah. That's, that's actually an okay magic card. That's, I know I've seen this before, but I completely forgot what it did. But that's all for today, everybody. Hope your Thursday was good. Sorry for the late video. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow. You guys have a good one. Spread love, be kind, all that stuff. Love you guys. Bye.